Spring is traditionally considered a time of awakening of nature and hope. In addition to hoping for positive changes, human rights defenders are making great efforts to make these changes happen. Let's remember together the news in the field of human rights in Belarus from March 24. I am a cartoon avatar of human rights defender Nasta Loika sentenced to seven years in prison for her human rights work. Nasta has been in prison for more than 570 days. On International Women's Rights Day, March 8, we profiled eight women human rights defenders who defend and protect human rights in Belarus, Armenia, Russia, Georgia and Ukraine. All people who work in human rights work face the risk of threats, attacks and violence. But women who engage in human rights work are subject to additional specific dangers. Women human rights defenders are targets of misogynistic attacks and gender-based violence. In many countries, they lack legal protection and access to justice. In 2023, several women human rights defenders were included in the list of the most powerful women in the world, according to the Financial Times. Unfortunately, human rights defenders most often end up on such lists when they find themselves in prison for their human rights activities. On March 14th to 24th, the traditional week for equality and inclusion, initiated by the human rights organization Human Constanta, took place. Over the course of the week, more than 20 organizations and initiatives took part, each in its own format, talking about what inclusion is. In short, inclusion is the process of bringing together different groups of people in public life, taking into account their needs. An inclusive approach allows us to create equally comfortable living conditions for everyone without exception. How to identify the political motive for persecuting people in Belarus in cases of inciting hatred? People are massively condemned for expressing opinions on the internet containing criticism of the actions of government officials in Belarus in the context of their participation in the suppression of human rights in the country. Let's look at it from the point of view of international law. Read the material at the link under the video. Search our website for a selection of decisions of the European Court of Human Rights on the topic of incitement to hatred. Familiarity with these cases will allow you to feel the fine line and find out in which direction international standards are moving in the context of accusations of inciting hostility and hatred. Belarus, like many other countries, does not want stateless. Therefore, it is easy to deprive a person of citizenship of Belarus, but it is difficult to renounce it on your own. Even if you move to another country, you do not lose citizenship of Belarus from the point of view of national legislation. Even if you have already received a passport from another state, for the authorities of Belarus, you still remain a citizen of Belarus with all the ensuing rights and responsibilities. Read the details at the link below the video. A citizen of Lithuania died in a pre-trial detention center in Belarus. His death is a sad reason to once again draw attention to the problems faced by foreign citizens detained in Belarus. Difficulty in obtaining high-quality and timely legal assistance. Impossibility of obtaining information about the whereabouts of a foreigner by relatives. Absence of diplomatic representatives of some countries in Belarus. The absence of relatives in Belarus significantly complicates the possibility of detained foreigners receiving food parcels, clothing and medicines. Living conditions in pre-trial detention centers and temporary detention centers in Belarus are generally unsatisfactory. Employees of special institutions where detainees are kept do not have the competencies necessary to work with foreign citizens. If you don't yet know how to safely run a channel on Instagram and make it super popular, Cyber Beaver and his nephews will tell you. Watch the new cartoon series. Thank you for spending this time with me. We we'll always look forward to your reactions, likes, comments, suggestions and criticism. See you next month.